What are the three stages? Filtration. Good. Filtration. Tubular reabsorption. Reabsorption. This is where I really wish I had the book. There's lots of pictures that are way better than what I can go. So filtration first, let's talk. We've kind of already talked about filtration, but let's just kind of nail it down. So the blood comes in through the arterioles, right? Excuse me. Um, like we said, there's these sphincters that, that increase that blood pressure inside the glomerulus. Solutes pass out through the fenestrae into the Bowman's capsule. Really, it's just a matter of size right now. If it's small enough, it goes into the kidney. If it's too big, it doesn't. Um, and that's pretty much it. Waste, nutrients, everything in the blood that can fit is going to go into the kidneys. Um, and it makes sense that the dextroglomerular cells are the ones that are measuring the blood pressure, right? Because there's so much blood pressure here. So it makes total sense that they're the ones secreting renin. Um, I, I don't know that this is necessarily true, but this is kind of the way that I think of it. If there's enough, well, and it's, if it's not totally true, it's really pretty darn close. Basically, if we have enough pressure to perfuse our kidneys, chances are we're going to have enough pressure to perfuse the rest of our body. I mean, you know, if you have lots of intracranial swelling or something like that, then maybe not. But for the most part, if you can perfuse your kidneys, the rest of your body is doing fine. So, those juxtaglomerular cells, if they're saying, hey, blood pressure, we got plenty of it, it's... Or, so really what they're going to be doing is they're going to be saying we want more pressure, right? If you remember how the renin angiotensin aldosterone mechanism works? <laughs> if the blood pressure is too low, these juxtaglomerular cells, I don't have them drawn specifically up here, but they'd be kind of up here. Um, if pressure is too low, they, they release renin, which triggers that whole mechanism, and causes the kidneys to retain more water, which increases pressure, right? So their job is to make sure there's enough pressure to make filtration work right. If there's not, they release renin. What, what is, what has that job? The juxtaglomerular cells. The what? Juxtaglomerular. Jug, jugs. J U X T A G L O M E R L U Comer U L A R. Okay. <laughs> it's a lot easier to write it down than it is in my hand. <laughs> 